Hey, my friend, welcome. I'm happy to see you. Imagine this. One lady actually said that all she needs is a lovely, kind man and her life will turn around. Hey, my people, my friends. Hey, how? How can she say that? Let me first welcome you guys to our beautiful community. If you are new here, welcome here. This is a corner for serious singles and married talk. Well, I'll admit, we have been talking about singles mostly or a lot, but we have some married tips here. Just stick around, guys, and we can share, we can learn together. Welcome back. Thank you for all your encouragement in this space. Let's continue with our conversation. We have this lady waiting for just one kind man to change her life. There is another situation of a young, able man who wants to travel out. But he needs a woman who is a nurse and lives abroad so they can get married. And he can move into her country of residence. Guys, you hear these stories, and I was just stupefied when someone reached out to me for my opinion and my thoughts about these people. You want to hear my thoughts, right? You want to hear my thoughts. First, I was shocked and I was embarrassed at the same time. In both cases, this is it. They want to marry for the wrong reasons. The worst one is that the guy says he needs to marry. He has no house of his own. He still eats only when his aged mother cooks. He does not provide any money to contribute to the food that he eats in the house. He lives in his mother's house. He has no job. He claims that his siblings will help him with the marriage ceremony if and when he gets married. Now, question I ask is what happens after the ceremony? Has he thought about it? He has not thought about that. <laughs> I guess he thinks tomorrow will take care of itself. Hmm. Oh, food, shelter, and clothing are the basic things every human should have, every person should have before thinking about marriage. Now, ladies, let's talk for a minute. If your husband is the sole provider or you expect him to be the sole provider and you're just there, content, <laughs> somehow, sweetheart, you need to do something and have some money for you that you bring into the family's coffers money from your own side even if it's just to fry i don't know peanut granite and sell it or make puff puff or you know these bones or make some sweet chops meat pies you can even set up a shop for elderly people where you go and you shop for people who are busy they are called personal shoppers in this side of the world. You can set up a small cleaning business where you go and clean for a fee for people who cannot clean due to a busy schedule or health issues. I'm just giving you small tips. Think about other things. Do a little business. Have some money of your own. Eh? You are young. You are healthy. Why can't you just think? And get something to do. Trust me, guys. Trust me. That your kind and lovely partner could get tired of your constant, incessant requests for everything. These days, marriages are ending anyhow. It's sad. But it's food for thought. When a marriage ends, or have issues it affects both parties as for a young girl it doesn't only ruin her emotional life it traumatizes her it leaves 
cars for both men and women. Getting your life back together after a failed marriage is a hassle and it requires a lot of healing and determination. Now, don't marry so you can depend 100% on someone. No matter how kind they are, have a little mm, and be wise, guys. I'm here. My mind is firing about lots of ideas. But, guys, let me just stop here. We'll share other ideas next time. I love you very much. And your spiritual, physical, emotional, and especially your marital welfare is my concern. And our concern as a group. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around, for subscribing, for liking these videos, for sharing it with your friend, for sharing thoughts about what you think a woman can do, a man can do in a society where everything is so expensive and it looks like things are not working help a sister help a brother based on the country where you live share tips about jobs that people can do in between jobs or while they're waiting to find the right job and you never know that business you're starting might be the business you will stick to for the rest of your life and may make you a millionaire just whispering that you never know big millionaires many big men and women started from very little things that they started doing things that people would generally neglect things that people will feel oh no i can't do that i can't do this guys don't neglect the days of little beginnings and listen to that little small voice. What is God telling you? What is God advising you to do? Don't go into a marriage with lofty expectation without having the means to cater for your home or to contribute in that home. A word is enough for the wise, guys. I love you so much. I'm going to stop here. Bye. Until next time. Au revoir, merci, obrigado, à la prochaine, and don't be shocked, okay? I'm dressed like this because, guys, the cold is calling. <laughs> if there is any word like that, the cold will not stop, and I need to stay cozy, guys. This is so cozy. See how cozy I am? It feels so nice. The inside is so warm. This, this um, big blankets, like wearable blankets, are the best for this winter season, and I love, love, love it. When I get into this, I start getting busy and getting active with anything that I have to do. You know how cold makes you feel sleepy, right? If I want to stop being feel, feeling sleepy and sluggish, I get into these. I have about a couple of them, maybe two or three. Get into them and some of them are just ones that you wear. And I get cozy and I'm able to do a lot. Okay? Share with me what are the things that you guys do. How do you help yourself to get pumped to work, to do business, to jungle ideas to like self-develop what are you doing in this world of competition everything is so competitive that you wonder oh my god am i doing it right you always think someone else is doing it better than you but guys don't lose hope okay don't think that someone else has gotten it better than you or don't think that someone else is doing it better than you don't let anybody deceive you it's a struggle, man. Everybody is struggling and juggling it and trying to figure it all out. Get into the struggle, get into the jungle, get into the figuring it out with your business. Bring your ideas out. You never know where it's going to go. That thing in your head, let us know about it. God bless you. See you next time.